All right, so with today being a bit of a slower day for the vlog, we just had a really slow morning. Uh, we had matzah sticks for breakfast. Most of the stuff we're doing today is gonna happen this evening. I wanna make sure I get that. We're gonna have the pony races again. The weather's looking better. There's still clouds, but you never know. Uh, hoping the boys can get on or at least have a really solid attempt at trying to get on that pony also tonight is the Running of the Bulls now if you've never seen the running of the bulls in Strathmore It's pretty cool. It's different than when they do it in Palpua, Spain. I think that's the town I think I said it right um, But where they run through a street we kind of set up a little track in the corral like the main grandstand area the infield and I guess it's a little bit safer in that if you're like right up on a bull and he's coming to get you, you can always jump over the fence or climb up the fence and let them run under you. Whereas in Spain, a lot of times they're coming to get you and there's like a brick wall on one side and another bull on the other side and you've got nowhere to go. So people do get hurt in Strathmore, people do get hospitalized, I don't think anybody's died, but it's pretty intense and it's pretty cool. So I'm really hoping that uh, they're going to run it, the weather won't mess it up and that I can show you some video footage of that. Also, I would guarantee that when they start the ceremony, they're gonna play Eminem. What's that song? Palms are sweaty, mom's forget whatever. I'm pretty certain I'd almost put five bucks down that that's what they're gonna start with. But I'm not gonna put five bucks down because there's a lot of people, more people watching this that I'd have to pay five bucks to. Mind you, if I was right, you guys would all have to pay me. That'd be fun. Yeah, we will just do a gentleman's bet. I'm pretty sure they're gonna start off with Eminem and it's gonna be really cool. Then we've got the Chuck Wagons. I haven't mentioned the Chuck Wagons yet. Last night we got rained out, Chucks were rained out, everything was rained out. Uh, we basically went to the rodeo and sat there for like two and a half hours in the rain to try to find a break in the rain that we could leave to our van to come home. But since this vlog doesn't have a lot of other content in it right now, I want to take this chance to go over two things that I've wanted to say, but I don't really want to make a separate video for. First one, I want to be honest with you guys and tell you that I'm starting to delete your comments. Nasty comments. Some people, you know, last last week I was thinking about it and uh, Wrangler Star, Casey Neistat talked about it last week and I thought, you know what, I like what Casey said and that, you know, he wants his videos to be a place of positivity and so do I. So if you're going to say something mean, an argumentative, derogatory, racist, all those comments I've seen before and they're all gone. And honestly, if you want really bad, if you want to watch something to make you feel bad, uh, just turn on your, your major network news and they've got all kinds of bad stories for you. You're going to feel negative, you're going to feel bleh, but I don't want that for this channel. I want it to be educational and entertaining. The reason I'm vlogging this whole weekend is because this is my favorite weekend of the year and I kind of want to bring you along for it. Uh, you might enjoy it. If you're going to leave some really nasty things or argumentative things, I'm just gonna delete you and I'll block you from the channel. That's not to say that I don't enjoy constructive criticism. Example, on the video I did for the Hidden Tang Knife, you can check that one right here, I had a lot of comments on that saying that you shouldn't do a 90 degree edge from the blade to the tang. And that is an awesome piece of information to share with me. You guys shared it constructively and politely, you weren't mean about it, and you're absolutely 100% right. I totally did that wrong. And I really wasn't thinking about that detail of it. So you guys sharing that with me made sure that I don't make any more hidden tang knives incorrectly. And I really do appreciate that. That's that's solid stuff. That stuff will always stay. It's like the community that we help each other out and I've learned so much from you guys. But anything bad or negative or, or you should have done this or this gun's better than that. If you can't keep it to yourself, I'll make sure you don't spread it. My YouTube channel, I look at a thing, it's mine, I can do what I want with. I'm gonna be honest, if if I make a mistake, if I say something wrong, if I do something wrong, I'm gonna leave that up there so long as you guys are constructive and polite in your criticism. However, if you're just gonna go off and say, bleh, 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 you shouldn't be chewing gum in your video, I'll be like, hey, most all those nasty comments, almost every single one come from somebody who has zero videos on their YouTube channel. It's a lot of work to make YouTube videos. It takes a lot of time to shoot them, to edit them, to get them up. And I try to do a good job. I'm learning this, but I put a lot of effort into it. And I try to make something that's interesting to watch. So when these guys come along that don't even, have never even put a video up on YouTube and just got all this bad stuff to say, oh, it makes me so angry, especially when they're wrong. End of rant. So the second little bit that I wanted to get through to you, again, has to do with making videos, is which camera I use. I should have written it down, I didn't. A gentleman was wondering about my camera, he's got a leather working channel, and he wants to know which one he uses because he wants to upgrade. He's actually got a pretty good channel, you should check it out. I'm gonna put a link, I'm gonna put it right here and then also put it in the description below. Um, right now I'm shooting on my Canon G7X Mark II. My other camera that I use quite a bit is the Canon 70D. Had I purchased the G7X Mark II before I purchased my 70D, I probably would not have bought this. 
for YouTube anyway. I do use this for shooting other work as well as photography. Um, but as far as just a YouTubing camera, a, a camera that you can make nice looking videos with, by far the G7X Mark II over this. First of all, the price, uh, that's still a pretty cheap option. Second of all, the audio. The G7X Mark II has pretty good audio built in. Uh, the Canon 70D, even the 80D, uh, pretty much any DSLR, not so much. They don't focus on that. I use a shotgun mic with this or a lav mic when I'm recording with this. Uh, I don't use anything, well, you can't plug anything into the, 7, uh, the G7X Mark II, but the audio off of that is really good. And I told the gentleman I would do a comparison side by side of the different audio. So this right here is coming straight off the Canon G7X Mark II. I this is the audio from the 70D. Probably hear a difference here. Uh, also, this is the 24 millimeter lens. Um, works pretty good uh, at the same spot, so it's pretty similar, I think. Uh, the G7X Mark II is slightly wider. But one thing you need to keep in mind is that you're going to get uh, focus noise if you just use the onboard audio. And even when I use a shotgun mic with like isolators, I still get a little bit of uh, focus noise. You can always look at getting one of the new uh, USM, the ultrasonic motors that are designed for uh, DSLR video. They're more expensive than some of the cheaper uh, fixed focal length lenses, but for an example that you'll probably hear it if I would come right here and then if I move the camera, it focuses on this, and then back to me. You hear that noise, it's kind of annoying. But there's a comparison side by side, the two different audios. Back to the G7X Mark II. You can hear the difference there, can't you? Uh, really nice built-in microphone on that. The price is great. Get a couple extra batteries and you're good to go. I might do a whole video on all my video gear, uh, the way I have them set up and the way I carry them. If there's any interest for that, I'd probably do that. But for right now, just for him to hear the difference and see the image quality, just so you know, the, the video that I just shot there with the 70D, uh, that was on a 24 millimeter uh, f2.8 lens. So little pancake lens. This is a very inexpensive lens. I really like it. Under 200 bucks, I think. But, so that's the thing shooting DSLR video. You need lenses, you need a separate audio, and it gets more expensive than just buying a good quality point and shoot like the G7X Mark II. There are other options out there, but I think as if you're a Canon person, I like Canon. Personal preference, don't leave nasty comments about that. That's my go-to camera for my YouTube, and if I had to pick just one, that would be the one that I pick. Okay, so I got those two things out of the way and we'll be heading into the rodeo in about an hour. We're going to check things out and then uh, get ready. Hopefully we get the running of the bulls and the boys pony races. But there's no running of the bulls. Why? There's no running of the bulls? No. Why? They canceled it. Why? It's they... too muddy. They don't want anybody to get hurt. They have an event called running of the bulls, but they don't want people to get hurt. Well, if a person slips in the mud and falls and a bull runs on top of them. People die in Spain with the running of the bulls. Sorry, it's distracting. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm not showing you running of the bulls. <laughs> You're so mean, Lily. I think she's doing the right thing because we don't like mice. Nope. But she sure does torture it. Yeah. Poor little guy's just shaking. He knows what's coming. I'm just playing with your dinner, hey, Lily? Don't let it get in here, Lily. Yesterday, we had like over two and a half inches of rain, and I left this window open. And so my belts got wet. I'm sure they'll be fine, but these ones normally don't curl up in their natural state. I hope these belts are okay. Really a bummer that there is no running of the bulls. Not once this year did they run with the bulls. But, oh well. Hopefully we can get a pony ride in and uh, we got the chuck, so it's good. We're just gonna have a fun evening. Want those? Mama, those nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, did you get a navigator? No. That's why you want to volunteer. Yeah. <laughs> Cute little bike, eh? How many times they clip vehicles in the weekend? <laughs> you think that's gotta happen, huh? I don't know. Oh man, Dougie. So, 
You can go that way. No. Thank you very much. Oh, and no, I want one. I want one of these. Eight grand. Free Tim Hortons coffee. That's the best thing ever. You guys ready? Yeah. Go and stay in the Christmas notes. Leave your strength going and go out there with your money. Richard and Jay Revelbridge for small or large cleanup jobs. Huckstead Waste and Recycling sponsoring game number eight. There's the pony across the line. I told them to do that. I yeah. said, just don't, like, just go for a ride. Good job, guys. Isaiah, say that. Good job, buddy. Let's go. Three. Oh, that, that is my. That. Good job, guys. That was good, guys. That was fun. We have it all on video. Turn around. Good job, guys. Well, not nearly as violent as last night, but a storm nonetheless. Oh, why does this happen every night of rodeo? Oh, but at least we got our wild pony race in. All right. Alberta. Uh, so like there's like crazy like like right there lightning and a rainbow and then you have this light so we've got dark sky and beautiful sunset light. <laughs> On those trees look at this like a double rainbow. Ah, it's almost full the top parts missing right there. That's sort of there coming down. And then this, look at this light in that field. I wish your eyes were here instead of this camera because this, you, you can't do justice to the lighting right here, right now, by just having, um, just having a camera going. I'm sure it's not capturing. Obviously I got like rock and bright light you can see from my face. It looks like somebody has a stage light just going on me. And yet there's, Dark skies right there, and thunder, and ah, that's one thing I love about Alberta, is the uh, crazy weather you can get sometime. And uh, sorry for the rain, but look, just imagine what that sunset's gonna be like. Like just look at the light on my hands. Oh, with the rain coming down, like look at this. Some of the neatest light I've seen for. A good long while. Man, I love summers in Alberta.